Another 25 things you don't know about Mario 3. The block in the secret pipe in 4.1 is actually unbreakable. It seems so strange the creators put in a block that is breakable in a section that it cannot be broken. For some reason, the game cannot register two power-ups coming out of two different blocks one after the other. One will always despawn, which is weird because you can hit big blocks that will spawn three one-ups at a time. This enemy's name is a Patui. P-T-O-O-I-E. Patui. You can actually clip into the side of this pipe in World 5 Fort 2. By making sure the enemies do the right thing and in the right circumstances, you can make the fire flower fall from the bottom of the block in 610. It's impossible to wall clip or wall jump in the underground tile set. However, in some situations, it's possible to clip with the Tanuki statue. This is from Kaizo Mario Bros. 3. Lastly, if you can manage to find a setup where you can clip with the underground tile set, you'll actually clip vertically. Eight one has a secret P-switch with a ton of coins. As long as you fly up at the start, you'll find it. World 2 does not have a single fire flower power-up in any level except the airship. This World 6 Mushroom House gives a hammer suit in the Japanese version, but not in the English version. That means there is one less hammer suit in the English version. Why? The hammer suit is so badass. If you time your jump perfectly in World 1 Airship, you can actually make the first Fire Flower bounce up and down. If Mario jumps on that same block, he will also bounce up and down. If you manage to kill the boss with fire on the same frame he shoots out his Cheerios, for some reason he glitches out below the floor and you never get the wand. The timer stops when you kill the boss, so you're actually stuck forever. This is called a soft lock, and you're forced to reset. I have an idea what's about to happen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh what? my. Oh wait, what? He got soft locked. Oh my god. Oh, shit, dude. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Um... Are you serious? Well, I mean, oh my. Dude, I can't believe that just happened. That's so hard. Like, what that's that's so hard to actually do. 
Um, oh. This is what happens with Mario if you hold an item after spin jumping with a star. Turns out Mario 3 had spin jumping before Super Mario World. There is actually a secondary exit in World 4 Level 5. You have to take the vine into the secret pipe and perform a clip off the big block, and after you wall clip, there will be an alternate exit. It's pretty cool. You can make the boss do a moonwalk by manipulating him with the pause button. It might sound a bit annoying, but it's still really strange. In 610, if you keep the vine on the edge of the screen while it's growing, the sprite will not load properly, making it look like the vine didn't grow fully. It actually did grow, and if you climb it, you'll get to the point where it looks like Mario is climbing nothing. If you die and grab a fire flower on the same frame, or close to, then you will go through the death animation and still be flashing. If you die on a certain side in this World 8 pipe, the game will spit you back where you came from, but will remove the black background in the dark section. This is what it looks like, everyone. This is the longest hammer bro movement recorded, unless someone's holding out on us. If you use the warp whistle on the canoe in World 3 on the Japanese version, it will take you to the warp zone like it should, but you'll be able to move around and pretty much break the game. If you duck with the hammer suit, you can block fireballs. If you clip into this wall in World 2 Fort, you will be stuck forever in nowhere. But if you can perfectly clip back out on the right side, you'll be sent to the boss. The task uses this to save time. In 5-7, if you do the white block glitch and exit the pipe fast enough, you'll no longer be able to get hit by the pesky Lakitu, or any enemy for that matter. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you time taking damage and jumping on the bomb perfectly, for some reason the bombs start giving you one-ups when killing other bombs with the star explosion. That is really, really strange. There is no way that you knew all 25 of those. I'm so skeptical for anyone knowing all 25 and then the other 10 of my previous videos, but I hope you enjoyed this again. And there was a lot of different things. I think one of the weirdest things that I've ever encountered is the fact that the bombs can kill other bombs and give you one ups. Like, what's that about? I, I don't even know what that is. But interestingly enough, I have something right here that I think I'm gonna do something with a next video and it revolves around the Mario 3 Nintendo Power. I don't know if you guys have read this, and if you have, it was probably a long time ago, but I have some pretty interesting things to say about this. So tune in for that next time, and uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell, and as always, I really appreciate you. Thank you.